What's going to happen down there today, I wonder? Joe Lieberman, he's out there on the stump. I saw him on, on uh, MSNBC today. He's over there um, beating the McCain drum, you know, because he and McCain, they're the big Iraq hawks of the millennium, you know, the hawks of the millennium, those guys. Got. I mean, I guess it's all about uh, their point of view about Israel, too, is... Uh, you know, they, they legitimately had a beef with uh, with uh, Saddam because he was always saber-rattling and, and threatening to blow up Israel. But I think what it gets down to is, uh, you know, the Bush bots saw a chance to go after Saddam. They've been looking for a chance. They did whatever they could do to tie him together with 9-11 and, and utilize the uh, anger in the country to, to take, take us to war in Iraq. But, it, but honestly... I think it makes things much worse for Israel to have this festering wound over there that we've created. And I, I agree with McCain about one thing. It's a long-term problem. But And to, to the extent that we created it, we do have some responsibility. But our responsibility now is to get out of there and let the UN and a multinational task force of peacemakers try to figure out the thing. As long as we're there, uh, with, you know, how many troops we got there? 200,000, 170,000, I don't know. Since the surgery, I added 30,000. As long as those troops are on the ground there, busting into people's houses and, and, you know, running up and down the road in their armored vehicles with their guns out and everything, the, the Iraqis aren't going to have a chance to make a, any kind of peace among themselves. No way. And who's on everybody's payroll? It's a, it's a terrible, it's a terrible, a terrible, tragic mess. Unfortunately, we, you know, we created a mess. You know, granted, the situation they had was bad, but it wasn't our business. Definitely wasn't our business. Definitely was no threat to us, to America. And to America's interest in the world, not, not defense interest, not economic interest, no interest, American interest, no American interest was threatened by Iraq or by Saddam Hussein. He had absolutely no connection to the terrorists who really are our enemies now. All that action is in Afghanistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan. So we've essentially given Afghanistan back. We're losing the war in Afghanistan. The real war, where the the bulk of the real international terrorists, the people certainly who were responsible for the 9/11 attacks, they're nowhere near Iraq. And, you know, not now, not then, not ever. Not one guy on those airplanes came from Iraq. No. We really got hoodwinked, bushwhacked. Um, just awful to say that you know our president would take us into war in a dishonorable way but that's exactly what's happened and that's why I can't get with John McCain on this I cannot believe he he's just got his chest out he's just got that you know that Navy officer you know mid he's a midshipman again you know we're not surrendering for anything surrender I mean they didn't attack us. We're not. This is not a legitimate war. You can't surrender in an illegitimate war. You have to remove yourself from the occupation of that country. That is not surrender. You know we've been in there, and, and because of our invasion, more than half a million Iraqis are dead. Millions and millions of them are refugees all over the world. Um, and many more of them will be dead. And many of our own kids are dead. 4,000 young Americans. 